Healthy. I'm your host, Cheryl Martinez, and today I am honored to introduce the incredible designer, Maria Luck. Welcome to the show, yes. sweetheart. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, can I just say, I'm in heaven right now, surrounded by all of these fabulous designs. I just want to like pick up and try on everything. I feel like a kid in a candy store right now. Oh, like they're Do stunning. It, yeah. Thank you so much for bringing all these pieces. Do you have a favorite in here? To tell you the truth, each one of them is my favorite because there's a certain story to each piece. Really? Yeah. Aw, I mean, I've always wondered actually like how long it even takes to make something of this because your designs are very elaborate. It's not like, you know, just regular clothes. When you're designing costumes. I feel like there's a lot that goes into it, right? Yes, it is true. Well, um, it definitely takes a lot of time for each piece, and then, you know, you really have to be really hardworking and have a lot of patience, and I think why I'm able to make this thing is that when I, well, okay, so the first thing is really hard to start, but when I actually start, I cannot you know, walk away until I'm actually done. Wow. And this is how it is because, you know, like I get so much into it. It's mm -hmm. like a meditation. It's like I get into a certain state of mind, like into a trance where I see how the, you know, like the design will go, what stone to add, and I see the final result. Mm -hmm. And then only when I put the last stone or I finish the last stitch, I'm able to be like, that's yes, it. I done. totally get that. I can totally relate I look to that. At it, yeah, I'm the same I'm like, way when I write when I write a song. Same way. It's like mm -hmm. I think it's just something about being a creative. You know, like exactly. you're just sucked in, and like you just you need to see and feel that finished product. You know, but so tell me, like, how long, for example, did it take to make this one? Well, this piece was actually one of the most complicated one because of the type of the fabric it is. Can can we pick it up and show yeah. it to the camera? Wow. So this was an idea oh gosh, for like a stunning. futuristic Barbie, yes. Yes. and it has like this disco ball boobies yeah. that reflect light. Very Perfect nice. for a girl like me, it doesn't have yes. boobs, you can like, you know, just play it uh, off. And then it has like a nice skirt on the back. That's and so you know, pretty. when you move I would totally it, wear that it looks really, really cool. So how long did that take? Oh, I think it took me like two and a half days. <gasps> two and a half two and days? And a half days in total. Oh my god. Yeah. No, it's because I made everything in pairs. So two of these took two and a half days. Okay. So basically okay. one day. Wow. And then see, so do you go and like buy all these different pieces of fabric? And then like it's, it explain the whole process from, you know, from beginning to end as far as designing something. Well, sometimes... Um, I go to a store and like let's say I see a certain fabric and then I get ideas or a lot of times I just sleep and I see designs in my dreams and then <laughs> it hits me, oh I have to go and get this color, oh I have to add this, I have to add that. Or sometimes it even happens like I have you know leftovers from some other previous projects and I can use them mm -hmm. and to put something completely new together yeah. and it would look you know like yeah. still very very good even yeah. using leftovers <laughs> like here on this costume you see it has a um, few different types of fabrics yeah um, like here in the back oh look at that oh you my see, god there's so much that's one two sequence. three different fabrics on yeah. top of each other mm -hmm. oh my god that's so much work yeah plus the trims <gasps> So that's how it works. Wow. See, I went through a phase where I was just like blinging everything for you. I think you even remember when I went through that phase. And I just I just didn't have the patience for it. Like as far as like putting like rhinestones, like even putting those mirror pieces on, like mm -hmm. do you have to put it on one by one? Because that's the way I was doing it. And I was this like, is, oh hell no, yes. never again. This is how it was on the head piece. Mm -hmm. You see like the yeah. the tiles yeah. are loose. So you can actually have to put them one by one. Wow. But these right here. See, you, you must have a lot of patience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you I don't have, have any of that. So this was already covered. So oh, I yeah. just had to cut it into two pieces. Yeah. 
and put them into a costume. Yeah. Oh my god. But like for like this one, these rhinestones. Wow. Oh this god. is old ones. Oh my god. Can you guys one just look one. at this right now? Like every guy looking for a gift for Valentine's Day <laughs> coming up right now for their girl, give this to your girl for Valentine's Day. It is a gift for you as well. All right, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Where can they go buy this? Where can the guys watching go oh, buy this right now? Just go to uh, MariaLuck.com and find everything there. Yes, <laughs> MariaLuck.com. All right. Pick up one of these for your girl. Oh my god, I want these. Ah. Um, oh yeah, so back to what I was saying. Did you glue on these rhinestones yes. one by one? One by one. Oh my god. You know, this reminds me. You actually made a thong similar to this for me one year for Christmas, which still to date is my all time favorite thong. Really? You know that? Because yeah. it was so well done. It was like specifically made for performers, these thongs that she made for Christmas gifts. It was yeah, such a brilliant girls. idea. She put yeah. a little bit of iridescent rhinestones on it, but the thong was like so delicate and thin that you don't have to worry about it like riding up like through your bikini or showing and like the, it was just like the perfect color nude to blend into your skin, but it had the little bedazzled glam touch of the mm -hmm. real design. So yes, that is my favorite, just so you know. And I still wear it all the time. My boyfriend loves it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so why don't you talk... Oh, my love. <laughs> why don't you talk a little bit about some of these pieces? I know you said there was a story behind some of them. Yeah. What are the stories behind some of these? I'd love to know. Um, like, let's start with this one. Okay. Um, this was actually a Halloween costume for myself this year. <laughs> this is a Greek goddess costume That's and it's also gorgeous. all handmade. The stones, I put them all one by one. Wow. Oh yeah, God. it's all handmade. And this costume took me actually three days to make. Oh my God. Yeah, but not like 24 hours after yeah, 24 obviously. hours, but you know, like uh, six working days, I would say. Wow, wow. Oh my god. Um, so, is this for sale on your website right now? It is not up yet, but um, I'm going to put this one. How much would you sell this for considering it took you two days to make? <sighs> Three days. Three days. Well, costumes like this go um, starting from 550 and up. I, I I don't blame you for that yeah. kind of time. You put in, you hide, <laughs> like, I don't blame you. This is what it is. Yeah, yeah it's no, work. I mean, it's all it's, custom handmade. Yeah. yeah, this is not like. Uh, you know, one of the costumes where you can go to, uh, I'm sorry, on the street and buy for $30. Yeah. This is a couture no, piece. Yeah. And, stuff. and I know a lot of people come to you for with custom requests as well, yes. right? Like, what are some mm -hmm. of the custom designs that you've done for people? Oh, well, it's very different. Mostly that um, being ordered custom for... Um, performers like ballroom dancers, mm -hmm. you know, like Latin ballroom, Ooh. those people who can actually have a um, bigger budget. Yes. And for gymnasts, for competitions, for DJs, international circus um, acts. Yeah, you've designed costumes, I think I read, for, for Ultra, for yeah. performers alongside Tiesto, and a lot of other really big names, right? Yeah. Who, who else were some of like the biggest names that you had? Well, uh, the biggest one was Miley Cyrus. And, oh, Miley! Yeah. We're going to put a and picture of that up on yeah. the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you can Google Miley Cyrus at um, General, and the picture will come up where she's hugging me. Aww. <laughs> and I'm wearing a costume, and another dancer wears my costume design as well. Very cool. Very cool. Um, wow. So... How would you say you got started into design? When did this, when did you first start creating? You know, I feel like this is something that's always been in me. It's not like I woke up one day and I decided, oh, let me become a designer. Mm -hmm. No, it's not like that. Ever since I was a little girl, um, I was always like good with my hands, like let's say. You know how kids run, run around and they fall. If I fell on my knee and I had like a little hole, I would come to my mom, I would take a needle and I would fix it. Mm -hmm. You know, this is how it started. And when at the age of five, um, I was spending summer at my grandmother's and there were like, you know, other girls that I met friends with. And some of them, they didn't even have bathing suits to wear, you know, so I felt bad. And... I had to, you know, get creative and help them out somehow because it was in a village in Russia and a lot of those girls, they didn't have money even to feed themselves, you know, like, because this is how things go in some of the places like that. Mm. So I just took, you know, like old tank tops, I got the sides, I put some stitches in the middle, made some holes, make little bows and this, 
how the one piece bathing suit became, wow. you know? Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you've been doing this forever. When yeah. did you move here from Russia? Um, well, first time I came when I was 21, then I went back, I graduated, I got my master's degree in public relations. Oh my god, I have and no idea, congratulations. Day, yeah. Oh, it's a long time ago. That's yes, good, so you have yeah. the master's. <laughs> yes. And um, next day after my last exam, I, I jumped on a plane ah! and I was here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, New York. To the day I graduated, yeah. I was like, all right, peace out, guys. I'm going yeah. to live in Midtown, Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, and I... And here oh, you are. Yeah, wow. Oh my gosh. So do you do you love it here? Do you miss it at mm -hmm. home? You know, I'm so much used to New York and of course I miss my home. But you know, like I go there, I meet my parents, I visit my parents, my parents come here. So it's kinda of like I have two homes. Do you feel more at home here? Like this is your vibe, your scene as far as like fitting in for the type of stuff that you do? I think so. Mm -hmm. That's you said it right mm -hmm. because there is like it's there is my home like my spiritual home is for my soul mm -hmm. here is my home for my creative side mm -hmm. of me mm -hmm. you know where i can actually make things happen and meet other people who are as creative as me mm -hmm. and i would say that here we don't have like that many borders like we still have there in i would say more conservative country mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. here i can be more creative yeah. Do you have any fashion shows coming up that these people can get excited and come well, see you in person? To tell you the truth, um, I'm planning on doing one or two or three. You, <laughs> so I know possible. you've done a bunch yeah, already. I've, I've done six fashion shows six? already. Yeah. Oh my god, six? That's a lot. Mm -hmm. well, tell me about them. Where were they? Well, um, the very first one was... Um, but it was right by the Empire State Building. It was like one place and I got invited like everything was so All of a sudden I would say, you know, I had only like two or three days to prepare everything oh and then I started to call all my Models and you know, it was really good. I Didn't even expect it to go this well. Wow. Everyone was so happy I got so many good feedbacks and the girls were so excited a lot of them It was their first time on the runaway. Wow. Yeah, Aww. and then after that they, you know, like they went higher. It was mm. like a push to them. Mm, that so was the like, high point. Thanks feel to like, you. Mm, mm, kind of, but you know, like it really makes me feel so grateful and so good that um, I could actually help some of them, you know, into their to into their path. Yeah. To, you know, to pursue their dreams. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's not only about me. Were any of those fashion shows during Fashion Week? Yes. Ooh, mm -hmm. The one good. in the um, Museum of the Moving Image in Queens. Mm -hmm. That was the, the one in the fall. Mm -hmm. And 2013. Was it 2013? Yeah. Wow. Such a long time ago. Wow. You've been like, this for a long I feel time. like, yeah. <laughs> so where do you keep all this stuff? Everyone who's living in New York City, you don't get a lot of space. You know, Maria, you it know is. I had costumes in my kitchen cabinets at one point. I see it. Oh, you see it? You remember? We've known each other for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I remember so, the boxes. So I can't imagine Ryan stuff. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll I can't tell imagine you where you have all your stuff. Yes. Um. Be honest. Be honest. Actually, I just moved to another place. So some of them I still have packed in boxes, so it's a it's a disaster. Oh <laughs> so gosh. today I had to like take everything out. I'm like, oh my god, what is here? And that, that. Do you have like a designated creative space area where like it's I your do. sewing machine of and course. this and that? Yes, you can, of course. You cannot work without that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am. I hate sewing. I would, I would <laughs> I never love sewing. Oh my god! <laughs> just the thought of it, I'm just like, no. Like, yeah, you like it? Because even it. like like it. these, like you can see, like it looks so perfect. Like this was mm -hmm. all sewed by you, right? Is, like, yeah. I just I can't even imagine. It's, it's, what is it, like, therapeutic to you out of that? It is. Like I said, you know, I get into a certain state of mind where, you know, like, it takes so much of me that, uh, I'm just gonna go I, can't, I, I, I don't right even now. know how to explain. Oh, keep it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to rock this for the rest of the interview. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some more of these pieces. This oh, look how them. cute. Yeah. 
Look how cute. So this is the top right here. Mm -hmm. And this is the bottom. That's adorable. That's an adorable Minnie Mouse costume. I love that. What else do we have over here? What's this? This is a bolero costume. Okay. Queen of Coal. Is there a story behind this one? Um. Yeah. Love it. I made it for the full. <laughs> They're just so well designed. Like if you guys could see, like I don't know if you want to like zoom in on this, but like you could see all the intricate detail that goes into creating this and how like literally the sewing is just like perfect. Like you, it, and you're a perfectionist, aren't you? I can tell. I can tell for sure. These are just fabulous. You know, it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing in sewing and creative, and creative. But sometimes, like let's say if something is not laying on the right place, mm -hmm. I have to fix it. <laughs> so I cannot like start my work unless I fix everything before yeah. I start. Yeah. Um, I'm loving this red thing over here. Can I pick this one? Yeah, of course. This is like, oh my god, it makes me want to go dance in salsa right now. I love this. Is there like a matching piece um, that you did for this? Yeah, there's the bottoms, but I think they're... Is this for sale on your website? It's not even up yet because it's the newest piece. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Yeah, so I brought some of the some pieces of that are not up yet. Yeah. And, um, so about how many pieces do you have for sale online right now? Uh, it's about 250 different pieces. 250? Yeah. Wow. And the prices range from what to what? Oh, starting from even like $15 up to a um, couple of thousands. Mm -hmm. And if someone wanted to custom make something where, get something custom made from you, where, how can they contact you? Where can they find you? Well, they could just they go, do? yeah, they could just go online on my website and, you know, contact me through there or email me directly at um, Maria Life Designs at gmail.com. Okay. All right. Wow. Or even through you. Oh, that's <laughs> true. To me. That's right. She is also on the Tools for Talent website. Yes. We've been working together in the industry because she, she she actually has done amazing modeling and she's an amazing dancer as well. This girl is like a serious performer. In fact, I think probably doing all that performing yourself probably helped you build and grow this company, right? Kind of. Yeah, of course. Because mm -hmm. I know that you were like designing a lot of costumes for a lot of the gigs that you were personally working at and creating for. Yes, it's true. A lot of my ideas, I got inspired by the theme of the event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what would you say for anyone that maybe wants to uh, start creating some of their own costumes or um, do you have any advice for aspiring designers out there? Well, first of all, I wanted to mention that I'm starting like an educational chat channel. Really? Where I will be telling my little secrets and the, um, like tips on how to sew, and yes. what glue to use, yes. and stuff like that. And an interesting thing about it is uh, that um, it's going to be very, very easy. And anyone who never even hold a, you know, like a needle in their hands would be able to make it happen. Because I'm, I, like, I created my own way of, you know, like making patterns and sewing yeah. for everyone. Mm -hmm. So like if you're sitting home, you watch my video, you'll be able to make it. It's like you don't have to have a special education for that. Nice. I love that idea. So this is coming soon to MariaLess.com? Yes. Is it going to be like your own YouTube channel or how are you going to well, do it? Well, I'm going to put it everything on YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. All right, business. guys. So look out for that. Um, all right. Is uh, anything else we should show the camera um, before we yes. end? How about this bikini? Oh my this god, I'm loving this bikini. bikini here. You hold the bottom, I'll hold yes. the top, and then we'll let him zoom in on that. And it's, you know, the quality is so thick too. Like, this doesn't feel like a regular bikini. You can tell that this is a custom handmade bikini that, like, it's, yeah, it's gonna make you feel amazing. Shape. <laughs> yes. Oh to give my that goodness. I the love lady. it. I love it. Anything else you want to show? Yes. Um, there's a little story to this dress. This was also a Halloween costume. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's a Miss America dress. You know, we had Miss yeah. New York and we should have had her put that exactly. on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you tell her you, you had this? Oh my god. She would have loved it. Yeah. This is so cool, Maria. It's so you. cool. So I'm sorry. You were saying you, you made it for what? Uh, I actually made it for myself for one of the Halloweens. And um, I really wanted it to be very sexy. That's why I used nude mesh. So it would have, a, you know, like an effect that it's just, you know, has stars yes. all over the body. Yes. 
and uh, I only had like five hours to make this dress because I started on the day of the event. Five hours. Five hours, oh, and I made it happen. This is a yeah. lot of detail for five hours. Mm -hmm. Wow! And you see, it has like um, yeah, a bell each skirt. One, each yeah, one it's of these a, is each piece. So oh it's separate. God. It has flowers in the front. And the really well done. That is so fun. Yeah. See, I could picture this being worn in like, like all the One parades, the festivals, yeah. Pageant, like yeah, like super, super fun. Yeah. That's and what I love really about your designs. They're like mm -hmm. really, really like. There's no limit to like your creativity. Literally, yeah. you know. Yeah, so this is like a real oh, Miss America. This is so. And cute. this is all written by hand. This is so cute. Wow. I love it. I was so Beautiful. much in a rush. I think it took me like maybe five minutes to, to write this. And Wait, it's you, an actual you wrote, you wrote that yeah. by hand? Yeah. It's that looks like hand. a stencil. It's no all by way. hand. No yeah. way. I had five minutes because I was so oh, much in a rush. I'm like, I have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you have this natural talent that I would never be able to do so. But you like. know what? You know how it is? Like, people can have talent, but you have to practice it. You know, like, you always have to evolve and improve it and yes. you know take yes. it to a perfection like like any creative yeah. art that you're working on mm -hmm. of course yes wow all right so one more time if uh, if if they want to shop maria luck designs they go to marialuck.com all right well again you're watching tools for talent on tft tv i'm your host cheryl martinez and this is maria luck thank you so much for being here today and i look thank forward to seeing me. more fabulous designs from you